Reporting live from Castle Loma in Toronto, Ontario, it's live from last week, episode 84. Let's go! Welcoming my fellow J-Rockers to another episode of Laugh from last week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So this morning, after being redeployed to another medicine unit, I had the nice surprise of the mini picking me up after work for a quick little mini carpool with the wife. Driving all the way to visit my parents at my parents' place. Where we acquired the skills of one and only Tita Monet to help sew an altar address that the wife is going to use at a wedding this coming up weekend. As well as going back to a couple scenes from last week's episode. So after spending all day Saturday at Beer Fest, getting up early this morning to come to race, swimming 750 meters, biking 20 kilometers, and finishing up a 5k run, we are approaching the finish line! Beer Fest after this! Beer Fest! I was able to show off and show and tell my new triathlon medal to both my dad and my mom. Dad, you like my medal from my triathlon on the weekend? Oh, yes. Yeah. You see it, mom? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I also saw that on a table in the family room, there were a couple of old videotapes that I placed in my hand, which my dad would use to record the memories that I had when we were younger. Which actually reminded me of one of the real reasons why I take these Jay Walker POV live from last week videos. To personally document all the events that I'm having in my life at this time, reminiscing about the good times in the past, and being able to go over them and watch them sometime in the future. But anyways, after taking a quick post-night shift nap, then completing my Uber trip this evening, when the wife dropped me off at the Scarborough GO station, I'm now here at Roundhouse Park in Toronto, waiting to meet up with one of my friends who I watched a TFC game with a couple months back to head to the Dome to catch the Blue Jays versus the Cardinals. But before we go meet up with her, I have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. The first birthday greeting going to one of my sister friends that we had at Wysik and partied with over 10 years ago. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Adam. Happy birthday, Adam. Next up, we got a birthday greeting to one of my co-workers who I will always remember for trying to convince me to keep my old blue mini. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Antonia. Happy birthday, Antonia. And last but not least, we got a belated birthday greeting to one of my old co-workers who always brought a certain energy to the workplace and who I've taken along with me on a mini carpool in the past. This belated birthday greeting goes out to you, Crystal. Happy belated birthday. O tanjo bi omerito gozaimasu. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today and in the past are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Anyways, guys, it's time to head into the dome, meet up with Roxy, and check out the Jays game. So once again, I want to throw a quick shout out to Roxy for coming with me to the Blue Jays game last night. And I'm hoping that sometime in the near future, later on this summer, we can go back to the beach, play some beach volleyball twos, or some softball at a nearby diamond. But anyways, while spending all day today and editing some live from last week footage, I was watching the replay of last night's Blue Jays baseball game and saw that while George Springer was hitting his grand slam, I was able to see where exactly we were standing at the WestJet flight deck when Springer hit that home run. And speaking of last night's game, in between innings, there was a quick Buck Martinez tribute for the broadcaster that's been in and out of the Blue Jays organization for the past 40 years, who stepped away from broadcasting for a couple of months to receive some cancer treatment. And well, after undergoing his treatment, last night was Buck's first game back. 
And I just wanted to say, welcome back, Buck. We missed you. But anyways, on to today, where the wife and I got a brand new Apple AirTag to help us locate our luggage when we go away next month. Especially considering all the news that's been out regarding lost and delayed luggages, specifically in terms of Air Canada's recent memory. Anyways guys, the next seven days are gonna be pretty busy for me. Considering that I'll be having six night shifts in the span of those seven days, with something that I'm excited about, one of our friend's wedding, right in the middle of it, on Friday. But before I go in for my night shift tonight, I've got one quick birthday greeting for one of the biggest dinosaur lovers out there. This birthday shout out goes out to my nephew, Kyrie. Happy birthday, Kyrie. Your Tito is hoping that you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and that you're enjoying your new dinosaur toys that your parents gave you from this year. After taking a quick post night shift nap, and remembering that the wife is out doing errands, probably getting her nails done because we have our friend's wedding to attend tomorrow, in between night shifts, I went to go and do my monthly visit to my Lola. So hey Lola, just wanted to say hi, uh, show off to you my triathlon medal that I got last week after the night before coming off of beer fest as well as celebrating your grandson's birthday Kyrie, and giving him another version of that bubble gun that i had for you from last month and i don't know if you can believe it but he is already three years old but yeah lola keep praying for us we still think about you every day and always know that we love you and now, before I go in for my second of my two night shifts, before we attend our friend's wedding tomorrow, we have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting off with one of my childhood friends, who I remember was a sick three-point shooter in basketball, and also a pretty decent baseball player back when we were younger. This birthday greeting goes out to you, TJ. Happy birthday, TJ. And for the second birthday greeting of the day, we have a birthday shout out to one of my coworkers with whom I've attended a 2-in-1 Blue Jays slash Argos game day with her, as well as with whom I enjoyed Beer Fest with this past weekend. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Sydney. Happy birthday, Sid. I'm hoping that at this time, my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So, I'm just getting off work this morning. Remembering, while watching Tim and Friends last night, I heard an announcement from the Blue Jays that they're investing over $300 million into renovating the Rogers Center. With new bars and sight lines from the 500 level seating area, a closer and updated bullpen, standing room areas in the 100 and 200 levels, like I mean, look at these videos of how the Rogers Center will achieve that model that they have this year of being next level. So I'm excited to see what these next two off seasons in renovations will look like in just a couple of years. Which actually brings me back to today where I'm thinking I might renovate my face a little bit by shaving as well as renovating my long hair to get ready for the wedding of my friends Royce and Liza later on today. So after that fun wedding ceremony here at Our Lady of Lords Church, the same place where the wife and I actually got married eight months ago, and also seeing that I'm running on no sleep post night shift, I thought it'd be funny if I showed up to the wedding reception and surprised the wife with a new haircut. Before we 
we go on, we got a quick birthday greeting to one of my Wysik friends, with whom I've done charity runs with and have run in a St. Paddy's Day run with in the past. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Seppin. Happy birthday, Jason. Hoping that you and your family at this time are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and they had a great celebration for your birthday this year. And now that I got my new haircut, let's go into Casa Loma to attend the reception of Royce and Liza's wedding. Man, I don't know if you guys could tell by the videos, but after burning it up on the dance floor at Casa Loma last night, I felt like me, the wife, and all the guests at that wedding had an amazing and memorable time. <laughs> so yeah, once again, a big congratulations to the newlyweds, Royce and Liza, for hosting an amazing wedding reception and for having all of us enjoy and celebrate your special day with you. Which has also reminded me that actually in a week, the wife and I will be also celebrating my brother-in-law's wedding. And I don't know if you guys can tell by the whiteboard that my wife has updated for us. For the first time in over a year since this scene from a Live From Last Week episode in the past. But she's getting ready helping pack us all up for that wedding in a week overseas in Bali. The only thing is, before I go on that vacation, tonight I'm going in for my first of my four night shifts. The third in the span of four days, right in the middle of that schedule where I do six shifts in seven nights. But before I go in for work tonight, I have a birthday greeting from one of my childhood friends, who was a one-of-a-kind talent on the soccer pitch and on the basketball court. This birthday greeting goes out to my childhood friend, Evan. Happy birthday, Evan. I'm hoping that you and your family at this time are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. But yeah, it's time to go to work, working hard for this vacation that's coming up, and I'll catch you guys again tomorrow. This morning after work, I hit up Sunday morning mass at the same church where Royce and Liza got married just a couple of days ago, back at the parish of Our Lady of Lords. And now, after taking a quick post-night shift nap, then editing some live from last week footage on my free time. I'm just about to go in for work for my second of my four night shifts. Which just means we're only three days out from flying out to Bali for my brother-in-law's wedding. So yeah guys, the countdown is definitely on. And I look forward to seeing y'all again tomorrow. So this morning after my night shift, I actually ran into one of my good friends and former co-workers. The one and only Joe Cat. Which reminded me that I'm halfway done my set of four night shifts. Which only means I've got only two more night shifts till we fly out to go to my brother-in-law's wedding in Bali. And I don't know if you guys can tell by the background here, but somewhere in all of this mess of laundry are the clothes that I'm getting ready to pack for my trip. But onto the present day today, where it's supposed to be OVO Fest back at the Budweiser stage. For the first time in over three years, being the Young Money reunion, which, unfortunately, tonight I'm missing because I'm going in for my third of my four night shifts. But I'm still being in the festive spirit, wearing my OVO shirt today, when I found out that the headliner Drake had unfortunately 
postponed his concert. So I'm hoping that he gets better soon and I'll be able to catch his rescheduled concert, hopefully on one of my off days sometime in the near future. But anyways guys, we're gonna wrap up this week's episode right here because next week's episode is gonna be jam-packed when I travel all the way to Bali. So for now, we'll say peace out. And just a reminder, if you guys thoroughly enjoyed this episode, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.